Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Venmo in 2024. So today we're prioritizing your account security by delving into the process of enabling the 2FA or two-factor authentication for your Venmo account. With 2FA, you will add an extra layer of protection to your transactions and personal information. So stick around as I guide you through the steps of enabling the 2FA on Venmo in 2024. So let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you will need to go and access your account on venmo to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have of course if you're using your phone just go to your Venmo app, log in into your account or sign up into your account and you will be already good to go. So for the PC users, go to this URL section, just type venmo.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into their home screen or main screen right away and you will have to do the same as phone users. You'll have to go and click on login to log in into your account. If you have an account, basically enter your username and password, click on next as example and then enter your password and click on login if you don't have an account instead click on sign up and you will be able to sign up into a new account so first you will have to choose is it a personal account teen account business account like how you will use venmo of course personal to pay and accept money from friends businesses emojis and comments encouraged uh, 14 available as you can see 14 is from 13 to 17 with adults sign up Pay and accept money from friends plus get a debit card. And for businesses, you'll be able to accept and manage payment to get noticed by the Venmo community and you will also get your personal accounts for you. So an example, let's say we're going to choose personal, click on get started. You'll have to start by entering the phone number. So enter the phone number, click on send code, then simply enter the code that they sent you right here. Once you enter it as an example, click on confirm it and you'll be able to finish the process of creating your accounts of course for me i just entered the random like phone number so they will not send me a code so once you've logged in into your account of course you'll be able to access your account settings on your phone or even in your pc just go and access your settings then locate the security settings once you go to security settings you will find the 2fa option click on it and you'll be able to enable it of course you'll have to choose a 2fa method such as sms or email location or even the app location option which is the recommended if you choose the application you will have to go and download an app for uh, authentication of course like google authenticator uh, microsoft authenticator uh, duo uh, password one depending on whatever suits you for me because i'm using android i will use a google authenticator so basically go and open that so i'll just go here and type like google uh, authenticator so authenticator as an example and enter that so as you can see google, uh, google authenticator will be something like that so you'll find yourself here click on get started and log into your account once you logged in into your account you'll find yourself on a place like this you'll have to click on this plus button and you'll find an option to scan a qr code or enter the setup key of course on venmo once you choose like to enable it and choose the app option they will give you a qr code and even the setup key so if you're using the same phone and you cannot scan the QR code, you'll basically have to click on plus and enter the setup key and Venmo, they'll provide you with a setup key. Simply copy that and enter it on your uh, Google Authenticator and give it a label name, like name it Venmo. So the label name will be this first thing that's in here. So name it Venmo and then click on proceed or next. Then they'll say you'll basically find something like this. The, like it has a label of Venmo and a code of six figures. Then this this code will be changed uh, every like 30 seconds so you will have to provide that code on venmo to enable it once you enable it and or once you provide that code that is displayed in here just copy it and go back to venmo enter that code there and the 2fa will be enabled as simple as that to enable or to provide from you more visuals let's check an article that's maybe made by venmo or anything else so enable like as an example 2fa uh, on uh, like venmo so simply, as you can see, if you're using the app, open the app, go to your settings, basically go to security settings and click on remember devices and you'll be able to, okay, this is not for the 2FA, but let's see. So let me just add the two factor authentication like that. Okay. I did not write correctly, but it should be like that. 
So for Venmo, let's see that article also. And let's start by this one. So for Venmo, as an example, let's see if they provide some visuals. It will be even better than just text. So let's see the second one as an example. So yeah, so just go as an example this for phone. You'll basically have to go to your settings, go to security settings, and you'll find this remember devices. Just go and click on that. And as you can see, you can click on edit. And this is, of course, if you want to remove some authentication, as you can see in here, and you can delete some uh, remember devices. So for uh, this is as an example, you can do this for using multi-factor authentication. And other than that, like so instead of the delete as example you'll find here in this option you'll find the plus button you can click on it to add your two-factor authentication option like the app as we said before so most of the articles just contains as you can see this uh, article provided by venmo help as you can see dot venmo.com so as you can see this is just for login security uh, to show you like what will happen once you enable the 2fa once you enable this, of course, once you're trying to log into your account, once you're trying to send money, once you're trying to do anything, you will be asked to enter that code provided here by Google Authenticator or any other app that you're using. Of course, uh, so for you, you'll have to go always there. And this is actually will be annoying a little bit, especially if you're trying to do things fast, but it will add an extra layer of security to your account and it will be very, very helpful in case someone had access to your account and they will not be able to send anything unless they have that code of course you can always disable it if you want through the settings uh, by simply doing this as you can see remember and click on delete on that 2fa option that you added and you can add it always whenever you want of course once you deleted it just simply go again to google authenticator just keep clicking on it or hold that venmo option and you'll find the delete option do that uh, on google authenticator also so that's going to be it for me today uh, for you there you have it you successfully uh, understand your venmo account and how to enable the 2fa on it or two-factor authentication on it with 2fa activated your financial transactions and personal informations are now better protected than uh, or more than ever so keep your authentication methods safe and consider enabling the 2fa for other accounts maybe that you have not just venmo any other thing so of course that's for enhanced security so if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section and i'll try to do it as soon as possible thank you for watching and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video